Hello and welcome to this new tutorial. Today, I'm going to tell you how to prepare your text to have good topology. If you have bad topology, you may have some issues and artifacts, and you may not be able to continue modeling or animating the way you want. So, starting with good topology is important to have clean work. Objects with good topology have higher prices in the market. Let's compare the three words here, and I'll start by the lower one. This is not a mesh, it's a text object. You know this by looking at the icon here, it means that this is text that can be edited. So, if you go to edit mode, you will be able to add and remove letters. You can type anything here. For the other word, this is a mesh. When you go to the edit mode, you cannot add or remove characters. You can edit vertices and faces just like any other object. This word has good topology. For the other word, let's go to edit mode to see its topology. It's exactly the same word, but it has a different topology. So, let's study the differences between the two words. Also, I want to pay attention to the origin point. For this word the origin point is here. While the origin point of the second word is here. Most of the time, you will need to put the origin point at the center. So if you want to rotate it, it will rotate around this origin point. The origin point controls the scale as well. The other word has the origin point here. When you rotate it, it'll rotate around this point. The scale will also start from the origin point. This confused me when I was a beginner, so you need to keep in mind the location of the origin points of your object. Most of the time, you will need it to be in the middle. There are many ways to move the origin point, and I'll explain two of them later in this tutorial. A good topology means that each face should have four edges, I mean faces should have quadrilateral shapes or quads. For example, this has four sides, one, two, three, four. This is also a quad. Also here, one, two, three, four. This has four edges as well. Everything has four edges, Blender loves quads. This will be good for animation, and you can even rig your word with bones and it'll work properly. Let's study the other word. If you select this face, you will see that it's a triangle. These are three sides only. If you select any face, you will notice that it's a triangle. This is not a good topology for Blender. Maybe it's good if you plan to export it to another software. In Blender, it may make some issues, you need to remesh this. I'll tell you an easy and good method to remesh, so let's start by creating a new text word. Press Shift plus A and select text. As you can see the origin point is here. Let's go to edit mode, type any word that you want. We want to add some thickness to our word to make it look like a 3D word. So, go to the object data properties tab by clicking on this little icon here. We want to give it some thickness, so under the geometry section, increase the extrude value a little bit. As you can see, your text has depth. You can set extrude to zero, and it'll be like a plane. Let's increase it again. You may need to increase the bevel value to have smooth or round edges. Now we have fine edges. The text now has a good shape, but how about the origin point? 
Let's go to the alignment section. In the horizontal alignment, you can choose center. Now the text has been centered horizontally. Of course, you can do the same thing with the vertical alignment. There is another way to move the origin point to the center. You can also do it after converting your text to mesh. So, I'll reverse the settings. The origin point will go back to its old location. If you go to the edit mode, you can edit your text, but we need Blender to think of this word as a mesh object. So, right-click and choose Convert to, then choose Mesh. If you go to edit mode once again, you will not be able to edit the text because this is now a mesh object. You can edit faces and vertices. As you can see, there are a lot of triangles here. To convert them to quads, go to the Modifier tab here. Choose the Remesh modifier. This will convert all the triangles to quads. For the voxel size, we need a lower number to be more accurate. A value of 0.01 is good. By using a low value here, the conversion process will have higher quality and more accuracy. It may also make your computer slow, but we can fix the slowness issue later. So, I don't care about it for now. Apply the modifier and go to the edit mode to see the difference. Now all the faces have four sides. This is a quad. This has four edges, everything is quads. Let's go there. It also has four edges. My computer is not slow, but what if there is high number of vertices that affects your computer's performance? We should reduce it to make it faster. To see the number of vertices, click here and choose statistics. Go to edit mode and press A to select everything. The number of vertices is 57,766. There could be a lot of vertices and subdivisions. If this makes your computer slow, you should use another modifier. It's called the decimate modifier. Choose unsubdivide. Then, increase the number of iterations. As you can see, the object started to have low poly. It has a smaller number of vertices or subdivisions. If you increase it more and more, the object will look bad due to a very few number of subdivisions. It's good for the number of iterations to have an even number to prevent this kind of triangles here. Now you need to determine the best or the optimal number of iterations so that you have good shape without having too much vertices and subdivisions. I think 4 might be good. Let's apply our modifier. If you go to the edit mode, the number of vertices is almost 14,000 which is much less than the previous number. There are some triangles here, but at least this is a better topology than the original one. You can fix them by using the remesh modifier again, or by using the tris to quads option. I'll explain another method to move the origin point from here to the center. Go to object menu, choose set origin, then select origin to geometry. If you choose this option it means that the origin point will jump to be at the center of the word. If you choose the other option, that says, geometry to origin, it means that the whole word will be relocated or moved and the origin point will remain at the same place. Let's choose origin to geometry. Here's the new location of the origin, you can rotate it like that. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to get new tutorials. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.